out of the triple? Did he maybe fall inward? Did he anticipate on the turn? Anyway, well, let's have a look at Alberto Zorzi and Kinsey. They've jumped nothing but clears. Three out of three clears so far on uh, Global Champions League for Valka Swart United. The red armband around Zorzi's left arm. Zorzi's quick look at that. Not a spectacular jumping style in terms of height. He does, he does jump with a lot of air, but he's so neat in his technique. Slightly long four. And we know that if they get long and if they get off the hind leg, that uh, accidents happen in the triple combination. Here's Zorzi stays deep into the turn to give uh, Kinsey some room to the first vertical and then jumps that combination like a star. Oh, that was a long one. Only just makes it over the back rail of Oxen number nine. And Kinsey and Zorzi with three fences left to jump. Can they keep it together? If they're clear, they lead. One fence left. Here comes fence 12. It's been a while since we've had faults on that uh, last fence. Zorzi with one more push and he gets him over. And Falke Swart United changed the competition as we now have a team leading on a score of um, eight. And the new leaders are also the league's leaders, Falke Swart United. Falke Swart United lead. Hamburg Giants are second. Doha Falcons are now third. Three teams left to go on an overnight score of four.